Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome back to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms and go over leak code questions. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, smash that like button because that helps me create this content for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's problem. Today we're looking at the problem missing number and we are given a list here of nums and what we need to return is which number in this consecutive list of numbers is missing. So in this case, we need to return two because we can see that we have a sequence here from zero to three and we are missing the number two here. So this is what our output needs to be. Let's generate some ideas about how we can solve this problem. So the first way I thought about solving it was definitely more time consuming. Uh, so what I did was I sorted this list here. So I had zero, one, three. And what I did after that is I checked um, with each of the values if, since they're consecutive numbers, if this value here is one plus the previous value. So that's how I iterated over the list. And if it wasn't the value, then I know that this value is going to be um, the one plus the previous number here, right? So one plus one, which would be two. So that would get us to our answer. Now we know that when we're sorting, it takes more time. So we would um, have used up n log n time here, and then additional loops to iterate over this list and figure out which number is missing. So let's think about some other uh, more efficient ways to solve this problem. Awesome. So I have the sum of n here and the sum of nums. And what I'm going to do is say for i in range from 0 to n plus 1. And remember, we are doing this plus 1 here because we n is 3, so we don't want the list to stop um, without going to uh, the last position here. So the indexing will work in the following way, where it's 0, 1, 2, 3. So we want it to go up to the last position here. So that's why we are adding 1 to this, um, uh, this range here. Okay, so we have that, and we are going to say sum of n is going to be plus equals i. And then what we need to do is find the sum of our uh, given input here. So in this case, 3, 0, 1. So for this, I'll say for i in range. And this is going to go from 0 to n. And we want to um, we want to access each of these values in the list. So what we are going to do is say sum of nums is going to be equal to um, each of those elements in um, in our range here. So nums i. So this is how we're going to get each of these elements. And once we have both of our sum, what we want to do is return um, the sum of n minus the sum of nums. Okay, so let's give this a run. Okay, awesome, accepted and submit. Okay, accepted. Now there's a way to slightly optimize this solution and that is to find the sum of n directly by using this formula here, which is used to find the sum of consecutive numbers. Um, and this saves, up, saves us doing an additional loop here um, where we are finding the sum of n and we can do this directly by using this math formula. So that definitely changes our time complexity to O of n, since we only have one for loop here, and we get we do the same thing in the end and get the same result. 
So this is a optimization that can definitely be used um, to reduce that additional for loop.